Welcome to A43 TV. I'm your host, Catherine. And I'm Lisa. And today we have Cinda Seaman, who is the uh, safety person here in Hiltman Island. She's going to give us some great information about kids programming. Some fun community stuff that the fire station always hosts. And we also have our general manager, Jess Jamaya. She's going to sit down with us and give us the wonderful news for 2022. And share all the wonderful things that are going to be happening in the coming years. So you don't want to miss it. Stay right here for 843 TV. Where communities come to speak. Eight four three TV, where the Low Country comes to speak. Eight four three TV, where communities come to speak. Hello and welcome to Eight Four Three TV. We are going to be talking to Cinda Seaman today with the Hilton Head Island Fire and Rescue, and she's got a very important and fun role where she is working with our community and putting together so many wonderful programs. Cinda, always good to have you here. We always love finding out what's going on in the holiday season. Thank you. Good to be here. Now, in December, of course, mm -hmm. is Christmas, and the fire department is so good about putting out wonderful things for the community, mm -hmm. for the kids, the fire trucks. So let's talk about some of the things happening right now. Okay. Well, first of all, we've spent the last probably two and a half months decorating uh, Station 3. Of course, three. the fire station. So it does take a, a lot of planning, and a, it, it takes a lot of time. So we are doing that. Uh, it's ready to go. It was ready on Thanksgiving Day. We are also collecting toys for Deep Well, so that's part of the project. But people love to drive through. Some people drive more than once a day because the kids love it. So uh, that's the first thing that we kick off the season with. Uh, next, we have Santa and Sirens, which started this week, and that's Santa on the fire truck. We work very hard each year to try to determine the routes where we can see the most people. We planned a couple stops this year. Uh, we also have a track uh, for Santa, so you can get on the website and you can track Santa's route oh. and see, oh my gosh, he's you know five minutes from our house or our neighborhood or whatever. So that's been a fun one. Yeah. And we try to hit as many neighborhoods as we can. And we've got the trucks are decorated. We've got music and Santa's on top. It's a lot of fun. I love that. I would, before we go too far, number one, where's station number three located? Three is on Highway 278 next to First Pres Church, a little, you know, sort of across from Port Royal plantation. Okay, that's part one. Part mm -hmm. two, if they want to track Santa, which I think is a great idea, what's the website? How do they go about Hilton that? HiltonHeadIslandSC.gov. Okay, so we got those right. And Culture HHI also has it on theirs, I believe, as well. Uh, so lots of places you can find it. I love it. And I, I can it. tell you, parents are sharing that all over social media, that Santa's right. coming, the kids are so excited. I know. It's a great, it's, it's a lot of fun for us to do as well. So let's talk about the wreath program. You know, mm -hmm. there's. What are we doing with that? Well, it's called Keep the Wreath Green. We've been doing it for years now. It's really sort of a community awareness of preventable fires during the holidays because we know over the holidays we've got candles, space heaters, fireplaces, cooking, lots of opportunity for fire. So what we do is we start with an all green wreath. It's up at Station Three. It's about an eight foot green wreath. Anytime we have a preventable fire between Thanksgiving and New Year's, a bulb turns red to remind us that mm, we weren't able to keep the wreath green. We did have a fire on Thanksgiving days. <laughs> right away, a bulb turned red. So mm -hmm. uh, obviously we wanna keep that down. I think the most we've had in one year is probably six. And that's a lot during that short period. So it's just a reminder to people, we have lots of opportunity, as I said, for fire to happen. Let's pay attention to our Christmas lights and our candles and uh, you know, outside grilling even and fireplaces, all that kind of stuff. It are, those are preventable fires, so we wanna pay attention. I think one of the ones I heard about is when you put a turkey in the fryer. That mm -hmm. seems to be uh, one that, that can cause fire. <laughs> oh, you really have to be careful because think about it, a frozen turkey and you've got an oil marinade in there. So now you're mixing oil and water. Also, if the surface isn't you know flat and even, you've got the potential of that turkey fryer tipping over. You also want to keep it at least 10 feet from a building. So yeah, that one, you really have to be careful when you're using a turkey fryer. Mm -hmm. And a fire during holiday season is never a good thing for oh. any time, of course, but that's right. just 
mm -hmm. tough thing. So we appreciate you all just helping educate us, which is what you're Right, so we want to keep the wreath green. Mm -hmm. You know, as, I, as I'm sitting here listening to this, and I'm really interesting. I, I love the details and how we really are trying to help give people tips and ideas what not to do so mm -hmm. we can have a safe holiday. So along with that, and let's talk about inside the house. Mm -hmm. I mean, a lot of people bring in fresh green trees. Right. What do you think the, the actual the livelihood of a tree in the house? Is it good for two weeks? Is it a month? I know some people keep them up forever mm -hmm. and everything comes off of them. Right. So what's, what's the rule of thumb for a green tree? Well, it's not so much a rule of thumb as it is when you pick out your tree, make sure those uh, needles are very soft and green. So start with a fresh tree. Don't bring one home that's half dead already. <laughs> <laughs> so. so when they go like this and, the, and it comes off, right. leave it there. Right. So pick, pick out the right tree, first of all. Uh, watch your placement. Don't put it next to anything where there's a heat source that's going to dry it out. And you know what? No matter what, water it every day. You can't go wrong, and keep that you know keep that water source uh, available for that tree. Water it every day. That will help to keep it from drying out. That's really about the best that we can do. And of course, you would never put candles or anything on a tree. When you're stringing your lights, the general rule is no more than three strands of light, unless the manufacturer you know says something different. But we always say no more than three strands. Make sure your lights are. Uh, an independent laboratory tested. Right. So some things to watch out for that you can make sure that tree stays safe all during the holiday season. Let's talk about some more of the things you're doing with the kids. Mm -hmm. Santa mail. Santa mail is great. Uh, the, we have uh, mailboxes, Santa mailboxes at every single fire station and all the crews have designed their own. Oh. So it's just fun to go and see what they've come up with. Kids drop their letters off to Santa. As long as there's a return address on them, Santa writes them back. Oh, wow. So I it's fun. That. I, I wish I could be at the mailbox when the child receives the letter um, from Santa, because I bet it's pretty exciting. And it's going on now, so they can drop it in as we speak. And we'll run it up to really just a few days before Christmas. So keep those letters coming. Any fire station, drop them off. I How think that's great. That, right? I like mm -hmm. that idea. And you mentioned about the toy collection that you're doing with the fire um, mm -hmm. trucks. Are you also collecting at the state? Well, you're collecting, of course, at the main station. Right. Is there any other locations or any other ways people can participate in donating? No, we just did, are doing station three because we've done okay. it before. It's been successful. We have a tent set up and boxes and everything. And people are pretty used to that location. Um, and obviously, people can uh, donate directly to Deep Well through their website or, or through their office. But we're just sort of supplementing that with toys uh, up through about December 15th. Anything that comes after that, it will still go to deep well, but starts to go towards their next, year, next year's project. Hmm. I love that idea. So as mm -hmm. we need to wrap up, Christmas is here now. We have a tree and we have all these things that we've gathered. Mm -hmm. What do we do to dispose of them? Mm -hmm. uh, you want to either recycle, obviously recycle if they're uh, real trees. And, th and talk about storing your tree if it's an artificial. Wrap it up. Maybe the garage is a good place. Um, you can store in the attic. Just be careful about how much you're storing, say, in the attic and, and put things away properly. Check all your lights, too. Do you have broken bulbs and frayed cords and things that are a problem? This is a good idea to, good time to check and say, is everything current? Maybe it's time to get a new tree. You know, uh, the funny you know. part is that when we kind of do that and we put everything away, and then you take it out, the bin out, and then the lights don't work. Right. What happened? What happened? Well, <laughs> did you check on the <laughs> I know. What did happen? How often can we all relate to this? Yeah, we just exactly. go, what happened? But, but I checked. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, and that's why storing them properly. You know, wrapping them around a piece of cardboard or something and not bunching up. Maybe something because you bunched them up and piled them up has happened. Well, exactly. <laughs> but I just sometimes just look at I know. I said, this is a surprise. So. Well, uh -huh. you've given me reminders because we're just one of those who just put it in a box and see you next year. Right. So, <laughs> so Cinda, we're glad to see you you today of course and always and we're glad that um, you are watching so stay right here we'll be back with more 843 TV